Diane and Denmark here and ra ra ra, it is Wednesday and it's not just any old Wednesday. Today is uh, the 1st of May 2019, uh, just in case you're watching this 100 years in the future. Uh, so happy May Day if you're celebrating May Day, maybe you were up early before sunrise uh, washing your face in the dew on the grass. Anyway, I, I, let me put my pom poms down. Uh, I've got a little announcement today because today, 1st of May, we are starting a new challenge. Now, I know you all love our little challenges and uh, don't worry, it's not going to be a big challenge. As usual, we're just going to, we're going to do it together. It's going to be a doable challenge, okay? We're, we're, we're not uh, reaching for the stars, we're, we're, we're just getting there, you know, the usual baby steps thing. Uh, now, in Fly Lady Land, uh, every month, um, Fly Lady will have you working on a different part of the Fly Lady um, experience, which is, you know, uh, one month it'll be working on menu planning, uh, shining your sink, making your bed. And the month of May is uh, traditionally known in Fly Lady Land as moving in May, you know, getting some extra movement in our day, daily exercise, 15 minutes. Now, I can tell you when I found Fly Lady, like, what is it, like 12 years ago now, I thought, oh yeah, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. And <clears throat> did the usual thing, tried to do too much at once, and it backfired after a couple of days. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. But I, I'm going to run a little challenge here, and you can follow along with me here on YouTube or on Instagram. You know, you can find me uh, most days on Instagram. And, and also, if you're interested in stuff, about Denmark, uh, learning Danish language, all the quirks of that. I, I post a lot on Instagram if, if you want to see that. Anyway, on to the challenge. We're going to be moving in May <clears throat> for the whole of the month of May. Now, don't, don't go, um, you know, d dusting off your running shoes and think that we're going to be doing a marathon and, and all that. We're, we're going to take it, as usual, in baby steps. And I'm going to give you a few wee hints uh, and, and tricks to, to show you how, how we're going to do it. Uh, and hold on, just hold on. Right, now you may want to grab uh, you know, a piece of paper or a notebook and a, and a pencil and just jot down a few ideas. Um, you may want to add them to your control journal if you've, got, if you've made a fly lady control journal. And, and because what we're doing here is we're kind of like everything else, we're setting ourselves up for success with this challenge. And if you've, um, if you look to this book, I, I talked about this book, I've, we've talked about this many times, the Atomic Habits book. This will explain why the Fly Lady system works so well for us. You don't, you don't need to uh, read this book to be using the Fly Lady system, but it just gives you the science behind why it works so well, just doing the small things, and uh, anyway, let, let's get into it. So what, what we're gonna be doing for the month of May is that we're going to be doing some form of exercise every day. Now, it doesn't need to be, you don't need to be out jogging, you don't need to be doing 45 minutes of uh, yoga. We're, we're just looking at what we can fit into our day and doing some random acts of fitness. For example, uh, you know, in Fly Lady Land, we talk about piggybacking habits onto each other. In, in the Atomic Habits book, uh, I think he calls it habit stacking. It's the, it's the same thing. So you take something that you're already doing, like uh, brushing your teeth, and stack your habit or piggyback your habit onto that. What do I mean by that? <clears throat> For example, when I worked um, at the European Court of Justice, I was working... Um, for Sir David Edward, the, the British judge. And every day after we'd had lunch, we ate in the canteen every day. Every day after we'd had lunch, um, we would go out and have a walk. Now we were just, uh, it depended on the weather and how much time the judge had before he had to go back into deliberations or whatever it was. But we would just walk around uh, the court or go a bit further. And we would do that every day after lunch. And that was just a habit. As soon as we'd had lunch, we'd have a little walk. You can do the same thing, um, say to yourself, you know, if you're working uh, in an office, before you uh, get your sandwich out and eat your, your lunch at your desk, maybe you can, you know, uh, you know walk up and down uh, five flights of stairs, 
uh, or maybe you can go with a colleague and, and walk around the block. You know, just, just fit something in, something small. We're, we're not talking about running marathons here, just a small habit. Um, perhaps when you uh, are, are going to work in the morning, instead of getting off the bus or off the train at the actual stop, maybe you can get off one or two stops before and walk it. So we're just kind of stacking the habit onto something that we're already doing it so that it, it's a more natural flow for us. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> and, and maybe this month of May is the month, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Frog in my throat. It's because I, I was um, I was actually cycling back from a swim this morning with Vivica. I'll tell you that about in a minute. But there's a lot of pollen right now. Uh, maybe the month of May. This is your chance to try something new, a new sport, uh, a new pastime. Find something that's going to work for you. Um, I know, for example, my daughter, for a long time, she wasn't, you know, finding a sport that really worked for her. My daughter is a type four in the Dressing Your Truth system. If, you know, we've been into that. So if you want anything about Dressing Your Truth, it's all up there. And she has found that she really loves uh, going to a martial arts class. That's something that really works for her. Not going to, uh, I don't know, handball or yoga. She loves martial arts. It's a very... Uh, discipline, she gets a really good workout, it's really tough, but that suits her. I'm a type one in dressing your truth system, and I love uh, winter bathing. I've made videos about that too. <clears throat> and, and that really suits me because I like it's kind of random. I can go winter bathing uh, any time of day, any time of year. I can see the seasons changing. It's always kind of fresh and new for me. So think about something that you might like to do. Maybe you uh, want to dust off your bike and get biking again. Maybe you want to, and I know a lot of you have got hula hoops, maybe you want to do some uh, hula hooping, but make it small. Let, let's just be very, uh, you know, don't, don't go thinking that it has to be this huge habit because you know what happens, I've mentioned this before, we set the bar, the bar so high for ourselves and we think, oh yeah, right, I, I haven't been doing exercise before, now I'm, I'm really going to do it and I'm going to buy new shoes, running shoes. And, and then what happens is we kind of run up to the bar and we think, oh, I'm not sure if I can get up there. And then we just kind of, we don't bother. So really small things, you know, just taking a walk around the block. Um, you've seen how I do my running. I, I post on Instagram when I'm out from a run or doing um, a strength app, <coughs> excuse me. And what I, I do for my uh, running, you can use the same thing for going for a walk. Just set your timer for five minutes, seven minutes, head out the door, even if it's raining, you know, there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. So if it's raining, you know, get your umbrella or get your cap on if you're running, that, that's what I do. And then head out the door for the five, seven minutes, and then when the timer comes off, you, you come back home. So in your head, we're doing that little Jedi mind trick. You're only going out for five minutes, but actually you've done 10. So we, we, we've talked a lot about that before, and I know that uh, little tip has helped a lot of you. It, it really gets us over that hurdle of thinking, oh, I don't, want to, I don't want to do 10 minutes of exercise. In your head, you're only doing five, because after the five, you're on your way home, and it's, it's kind of over and done with. Um, and another thing that we've mentioned, I think it was when we've done a declutter uh, challenge. I mentioned before, you know, we've got to be easy on ourselves because we are, we, you know, you all push yourself so hard and you say, oh, you know, I didn't shine my sink last night. Or, you, you've really got to be easy on yourselves when, when you're trying to build up these new habits. And I've mentioned before, these get out of jail free cards. Now, what is this? Uh, if you've ever played Monopoly, you know you get, um, you know, the chance cards um, and you might pick something and it'll be go to jail, go directly to jail. Now, I I'm suggesting that you make yourself, just <laughs> write them down on a piece of paper, put them on the fridge, make yourself three get out of jail free cards. Now, what are you going to use those for? Well, we're going to, and th through the month of May, you can make yourself like three of these, five of these, whatever you like. And every time you haven't done your exercise that day or are not wanting to do the exercise, you can say to yourself, okay, do I want to use my get out of jail free card today? Or am I just kind of, mm, don't really want to do it, but 
maybe I want to keep this uh, excuse card for another day. It might just help you to push through. And if you're having a bad day, it's fine. You say, okay, today's one of those days. It's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, the kids are sick. Everything's, you know, the cat's uh, lost or, you know, j just use those cards and say, you know what? I didn't manage it today, but I'll, I'll, I'll get back on it again tomorrow. So that might be a, a useful thing for you. Also, if you are into, you know, if you're into bullet journaling, if you're doing uh, habit tracking that talks a, a lot about in here, you may want to um, take your diary and give yourself a little star every time you do your daily exercise because that way you see, you know, you're getting a star every day and then that day that you don't want to do it, you're like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to break the chain I want to keep going with it so maybe that will work for you you know we're all we're all different we all uh, there are different things that work for us um, for me I'm not so much of the uh, habit tracker thing that the checking things off that that doesn't work uh, so much for me I'm more of a kind of competitive type um, and uh, competitive with myself and also my way of tracking things, I like to track it by posting it on uh, Instagram or here on YouTube. That keeps me very <laughs> accountable because I, I know that if I don't post for a couple of days on YouTube, you're always like, where's she gone? What's she up to? But normally, if I'm not posting on YouTube, it's because I'm doing something with the family. And, uh, you know, um, I, I make these YouTube videos in my spare time. So, you know, at Easter, I, I don't make videos. I'm, I'm spending time with the family. Anyway, let me just check my list and see if I've missed anything else. Yeah, uh, we've, we've got to make this exercise fun for ourselves. So, you know, maybe think about something that you can do on a regular basis. Perhaps, um, you know, you're going to sign up for a yoga class or, uh, you know, dust off your, your running shoes and put it into your diary that you're going to run, you know, Monday and Thursday or go for a walk around the block. But try and make it fun for yourself. Now, for me, when I go running, I like to have music going. We've talked a lot about my music, uh, my love for music. I'll put a, a link up there to, to the books and Hugo and music playlist. But I, I've got a really, uh, and I have a really good music playlist for myself, which I also actually use for when I'm cleaning around the house. And I've got a couple of songs that even if I'm not feeling it, it just makes me want to run and get moving. Like um, if you know the, the song No Limit, by um too unlimited you know the, the that was a huge hit in the 90s i've just got to hear that and i am you know pounding the streets or it, you know maybe music is not the thing that does it for you maybe it will help you to be accountable and meet up with a friend i meet up with my besties vibeka and helena for our skinny dips you know we skinny dip all year round yes it's naked it's a danish thing winter bathing video up there um and we meet each other so we're always keeping ourselves accountable and we make it fun and we can fit it in around our days and um, you'll see me posting on instagram quite often we will meet um, at lunchtime if we can't meet you know if we're working during the day um, th this morning the last couple of mornings yesterday and today um, Vibeke and i have actually met a bit earlier and we've had our breakfast when we were down having our swim um, and it's funny because we, we both had the same thermos flask today uh, I'll, I'll post pictures on Instagram, but Vibeka, she had um, hot porridge today. Yesterday, she, she had a cold uh, skewer with um, fruit. Uh, and the last couple of days, I have had um, scrambled eggs with sriracha sauce and uh, parmesan cheese. And these are great little thermos flasks. Um, I've, I've shown them before in another video. Remember, I don't do any affiliate stuff. I'm just showing you what, what I use uh, for me. And on the top, it's got space for uh, a foldable spoon. I'll see it in there. Now, this is, I won't show you my kind of grotty uh, thing, but this is, there we are, it's a little thermos one. And, and these are great, oh, I can smell the sriracha, the leftovers of it, the chilli and the garlic. Uh, the, the spoon fits into the lid, and then you've got a wee cup that you can use for tea or something. So we often meet up, you know, in, in the summer when things are a bit more busy, uh, we meet up and we have lunch together. So lunch, uh, lunch or breakfast while we are having our skinny dip. Maybe you can meet up with a friend and say, OK, we're going to walk around, I don't know, the lake or wh wherever you are or in the forest. And you take it in turns to bring a bottle of juice 
uh, and a, a biscuit to share. You know, let, let's make, make it fun and keep yourself accountable. Uh, and I think that's it. So, oh, coming up for 15 minutes, you know, I, I, I don't want to keep you back for, for more than 15 minutes with my videos. And it's the same thing with exercise for this month. Just make sure, just set your timer for five minutes and do something and then check in with us. What I'm going to be doing is I'll probably post a video every day. Generally speaking, I don't post a video every day. I keep uh, Saturdays and Sundays free, but I'll try and post a video every day. Uh, and I'll check in with you of what I have done the day before. So for example, I will say uh, yesterday uh, I had my uh, cycle ride and I swam in the sea with Vibica and then I was out for a long walk um, and then in the evening actually I was out on my bike again. So that was my exercise for yesterday. Today I was on the bike this morning from a skinny dip it's really turned cold here. I mean, I know it's uh, kind of looks um, kind of everything is green outside, but they say we may get snow this this week, uh, the weekend. Anyway, um, and then this afternoon, I'm probably going to do a run before I make dinner. That That's my plan for the day. And on the days that I don't run, I generally do the seven minute high intensity interval app. It's a free app. Um, you don't need to be using the one that I'm using, just, just find something, but I'll, I'll put a link down below to the, the seven minute one for Android. There are similar ones uh, in the app store for Apple, but I'm an Android girl. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to get my skates on um, and hang up my, um, my towel from today. And uh, anyway, I hope you have a fantastic first of May. I hope you're looking for, forward to the challenge and we're going to do it together. Okay, so don't, don't worry about things, just small steps and we're going to get there. Okay, uh, live long and prosper. Have a wonderful day. Um, may the Danish spring hoog be with you. Hopefully not too much pollen where you are. When we were cycling this morning on, on the bike path, <laughs> the bike path looked as though it had gone, turned yellow uh, like my top. So I'm kind of matchy-matchy. Anyway, uh, I shall see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.